I'm done. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, um, I want to talk to you guys about three major sectors that I plan on uh, moving out as soon as the economy uh, recovers. And so in, uh, there's a lot of reasons why I'm, I'm getting out of these sectors. Um, and I'm gonna kind of discuss that with you guys. So, but before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that really interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So, um, three major sectors that I plan to exit as soon as the economy rebound. Number one is auto. Number two is travel. Number three, is oil and gas and this is gonna be a slow process it's not like I'm just gonna to, tomorrow I'm gonna get out of this uh, the sectors the reason why uh, I'm looking at getting out of the sectors is because these three sectors get hit the most each time there is a crash and I don't want to put myself in that position so uh, what I what I, I, I plan on doing is instead of staying in the, in those positions I I'm gonna always buy on the dip set on the high and move out, out move out of this uh, particular sectors i'm not going to hold them um for long term so right now i do have auto i do have oil and gas and i do have travel in my portfolio and the reason why i have those is because i bought them when they were they're low because of the crisis but if you look long term even if you have them uh, long term these same particular sectors as soon as something happens as soon as there's any major um uh, uh, crisis these particular sectors get hit the most. So I don't want to be in that position where I'm always in panic mode, not knowing what's going to happen. So I plan on exiting these particular sectors as soon as the economy recovers. So let's kind of take this sector and see why I don't feel comfortable staying in them long term. As soon as the, the economy rebounds, I get my profit, I'm off. I, I wait and if, if there's any other crash again and the prices drop, I'll buy them and ride, take my profit and I'm out. But holding long term, I'm not doing it because it, it, it gives me a lot of stress. So number one is auto industry. Uh, the auto industry right now, people are not shopping for cars. When people are in a situation like this in a crisis, the first thing that comes in mind is not you thinking about getting a new car. So I think car sales are down. Uh, car manufacturers are struggling because people are not buying cars. So and I don't want to be in that, in that situation. Um, I'm going to do um, car industry, but I'm going to move towards kind of like the tech car industry so when i say tech car industry i'm talking about companies like tesla uh, companies like uh, nikola motors that are building uh, technology alongside with cars so um what they are building technology first and then the car just carries that technology around as opposed to let's say ford models which builds a car and then try to put technology in it these other companies are building technology and, and putting a car around it so i kind of like that that uh, space because they consider themselves more of a tech company than an auto manufacturer. So um, that's reason number one for for the auto industry. Um, now let's move over to travel industry. Travel industry again is when people when there's a crisis, people tend to stay home. People tend to cut back on uh, leisure because that's the number one place where you can easily cut back. I don't know if anybody that says, "Oh, there's a crisis," like, "Oh, I want to fly to the Caribbean or to Jamaica to go have fun." That never happens, right? So travel is, um, it's good. I can ride it when it's low, buy, take it up. But as soon as I get to the top, um, I'm not gonna sit there and hold it for a long time. So I like Carnival Cruise, Royal Caribbean. Uh, I mean, those are companies that are right now uh, very low or like 60, 70, 80% down. Do I wanna buy them and wait to get to the top and I hold it for a long time? No. I buy them now, I'm gonna ride them to the top, I'm gonna sell as soon as it hits the top or hits uh, a, a spot that I, I think is good for me, I'm gonna sell and, and focus on companies that I feel comfortable with, like consumer goods and technology, that I know that they don't really get pounded easily like that. Finally, if you look at oil and gas, again, I just talked about um, electric cars with Tesla and Nikola Motors. Um, I actually did a video about Nikola Moto, so I'm gonna hook it up here so you can definitely go check that one out. It, I think it, it's a really good video, um, it, introducing a new player into the uh, electric car space. That's beside the point anyways. So if you think about, uh, you know, cars is, I mean, they're moving towards electric batteries and hydrogen fuel. 
what does that mean for oil and gas? It doesn't mean oil and gas is going to disappear overnight, but what that simply means is that it puts them in a situation where the fluctuation is very, very crazy. The volatility is so crazy. So I don't want to be in a situation where I'm always or constantly worrying about volatility. So uh, when the stocks are, when the prices are down, I'm gonna ride it. As soon as the prices uh, go up, I just you know ride, take my profit, and I'm out. And then I sit there and wait for the dip. Remember, oh, I can take that money and put it in other sectors that I feel comfortable in. So um, that's what I plan on doing as soon as the economy rebound. Uh, again, three major sectors that I plan to liquidate out of my portfolio as soon as we get to the top, or as soon as I feel like um, I've gotten to where I want it with those particular stocks because I bought them low. Um, again, I'm talking about travel, I'm talking about the other industry, and I'm talking about oil and gas. As soon as I get to where I feel comfortable that I've made good enough profit, I'm out and we'll see where that goes. So that's it guys. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Do you think, Mr. V, you're crazy? Oil and gas is here to stay. Um, auto industry is here to stay. Travel is not going anywhere. Or do you agree with me that those are three sectors that we should be very, very careful about? The volatility is not good. You can be very, very uncertain uh, riding high with those. Let me know in the comment section. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content. And as always guys, stay motivated.